For when you can't wait to bail on a date, the new Guardian Angel jewelry pendant features a panic button to help you ditch the loser sitting across the table, Andy. The $120 silver gadget can be worn as a necklace like this woman is doing, or for those of us skilled enough, placed where you'll never find it. <laughs> Press the button, which I can without my hands, and it triggers a fake computer-generated call to your cell phone. I'm doing it now. Hold the button a little longer, and it'll send an emergency text message to a friend with a map of your location. Anyway, now we know what the thing looks like. Uh, the joke's on you, hot chicks. All right, Catherine, are you thrilled that you have a secret way out of a bad date? Or does it take the fun out of it? It takes all the fun out of it. I don't know why you would just not stay and try to ruin the date more. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can't resist to ruin a good date because I'm like, you're kind of funny, but it'd be way more funny if it made you look at hundreds of pictures of my cat, <laughs> asked you which one would be the best for an Afghan I was making for you of him, and then he never talks to me again, but it's kind of worth it. Yeah. So it kind of seems like you're missing out on a lot of fun yeah. by trying to leave what could be a pretty hilarious how, opportunity. How you doing in New York these days dating? Um, well, I have my cat, and um, <laughs> he's great, and we're doing really well. Uh, maybe I need to stop ruining all my dates, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Maybe, maybe the cat needs a panic button. Yeah, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. No, he does. It puts a lot of pressure on him. <laughs> Sam, okay, what if, the, you see, what if you recognize this on the woman? What do you do? Like, you see, all of a sudden you know, because this is on that woman's neck. Here's, if I noticed it, I'd probably, if she was like, oh, my God, my grandma's in the hospital, I'd be like, all right, I'm going to follow you to the hospital. I'm going to call bluff. There's already a panic technique for a bad day. It's called getting blackout drunk. Yeah, it's you just, true. You just turn into an idiot, and you're out already. You know? <laughs> I think people should, they should date the old-fashioned way, you know? If it's a bad date, just suck it up and spend the rest of your life with that person. <laughs> <laughs> That's worked out for a lot of people. Joanne, I know it's been a while. Uh, but whatever happened to you throwing a drink in someone's face oh, and tell them that you don't like them? Those were the good old days. Yes. But after that charge for assault, <laughs> I can't do that anymore. Yeah. What was your worst date? Oh, my worst one? Oh, there is a several. I'm actually penning a memoir. Yeah. You'll be able to read all about it. But the things I don't like about this uh -huh. does not come in yellow or rose gold. All right. And I prefer those yes. so my date would know that it's it's not legit. It's not right. a real necklace. There's yes. something else there. Ah, uh, I see. So yeah. that actually looks like a medic alert button. Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. It's like one of those I fall in and I can't get up buttons, yeah. which if you if you need that, that's fine. Yeah. There's no shaming in that. Um, but yeah, I think you should just stick it out. Have a little bit of respect. And in terms of a panic button, you should be going to some place on your first date that's in public where there's a lot of people mm -hmm. so that if you need help, like actual help, you just wave to the bartender yeah or you have or you go to a place where a friend will be there that's what i've often done uh andy you ordered one which doesn't make sense because you spend most of your time alone right uh um, yeah, sometimes i get sick of myself Kurt. yeah i could never see that happening yeah. uh i think this is a great <laughs> idea by the way this is not being <coughs> excuse me yeah, are you okay there it's good. you're choking <laughs> on your panic all button. day <laughs> yeah uh, it's not being marketed as a way to get out of a bad date. The idea is that women can use it to get out of a dangerous situation if they're mm -hmm. being harassed or if they feel physically threatened. Oh, now yeah, I thought it was about a bad date. No. Are no. you sure? Yeah. That's how they're marketing it. That said, it would also be, you know, useful in situations that aren't dangerous but are annoying, like when someone starts talking to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I could definitely But then nobody believes it. you if you're hitting a button. By the way, I mean, I did, that's interesting, but isn't that, isn't it? Better to call the police. Well, that's the weird thing. Like, I don't understand the, the calling a friend. I would rather have it dial nine one one. They don't know about nine one one. Yeah. Yeah. You know. What? Well, just to go back, I was under the assumption that this was about a bad date. So my point is, this is the difference between a man and a woman. A woman says this date sucks. I'm out of here. A man says this date sucks. Maybe we'll have sex <laughs> because that's like still in the, when you're like in this date and it's not working you're going like well it, the only thing that's going to salvage this right. is if we kind of have a few drinks and we go look we're not going to see each other anymore and and then <laughs> then you end up getting married yeah oh yeah Sound that's like how parents met yeah exactly. i hate men <laughs> <laughs> why did that actually happen maybe <laughs> <laughs> well well, you know what? That's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> okay.